Guys, if there's a better athlete in the sport than Michael Johnson, I'm all ears. And you could probably find me an answer, but you're gonna have, you're just talking athlete. You're gonna have Michael Johnsons of the world. You're gonna have Rumble Johnsons of the world. I mean, you're gonna have some guys who can just do some. Conor McGregor would go as a great athlete. You're gonna have some guys, but it's a much smaller group. I mean, Michael Johnson is so fast. He's got the twitch. He's got the reflexes. He can do the punching and the kicking and the wrestling. He's got a great gas tank. I mean, Michael Johnson's a total thing. Okay, great. Hold that thought because if there's a tougher guy in the sport than Clay Guida, I would love to hear who it is. And there's some guys as tough. I'm asking, is there anybody tougher than Clay Guida? You'd have to bring, you'd have to go all the way up to like a Justin Gaethje to get me to listen. And what more do these guys need to do? What more do they have to do? And what more do they want to do? Clay Guida is already in the Hall of Fame. His round with Diego Sanchez went in last year. There's not a bigger honor you can get in the sport. Michael Johnson has been around a while. He's been in there with the Khabibs. He's been in there with the Gaethys. He came through the Ultimate Fighter. I mean, how, what does he want to do? I do not call for people's retirements. I just don't really like that. But there are every now and then, well, I'll watch a couple of guys go, great job. Doesn't matter who got the gold medal, who got the great job. Do you want to come back? And if so, why? If this is just what you do and you don't need know anything different, if it's a financial or a cash grab, I, I, I'm open to all answers. But there are some performances I really felt like they had it tonight. I mean, I felt like Michael Johnson did what he does, which is he went out and showed what a fantastic athlete he is. And Clay Guida went out and does what Clay Guida does. I mean, that dude is so tough, and the way he fights is so gritty, and it's so grimy. And by the way, where does he get that conditioning? And they're bouncing around, and when the fight's done, quit bouncing around, Clay. I get tired just watching you. I don't know where you get all of this energy from. I mean, the, it really is a remarkable thing. I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. And you know what? If we're just talking about stuff here, I'm going to give you full warning. If you have anything else to do, go do it. Go do it. It's one of those weekends, right? But I'm having one too. Having one too. And I'll, I'll give you in full warning, if this isn't the dullest story I've ever brought you, okay, it's got to be right in there. But I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a sincere question. Do you have a milkshake recipe? And here's what happened at my house today. I get out of the shower and I get ready and my wife turns to me and says, what are we going to do today? Now, we as the collective family, here's my problem. I'm well aware that I am tasked with that. I am tasked as entertainment director of my household come the weekend. Here's the problem. Paige Van Zant fought last night. So I thought last night was Saturday. I thought today was Sunday. Turns out Paige fought on a Friday. Today's Saturday. My whole weekend's thrown off. So I had my days wrong. Didn't have anything planned. Here's what we end up doing. The whole family loaded up. We go to the store. There's only so much to do, right? We're in a pandemic and I'm in an area that's, there's not a lot to do. So we go to the store. All four of us, two kids, wife and I, we all get a cart and everybody gets 10 minutes. Get whatever ingredients you need. We're going to go home and you're going to put your ingredients into a blender and so on and so forth through the four of us, little small tippy cups, and we're going to have a taste test and see whose milkshake is best. And my daughter had a great one. She had a great one because she took strawberry ice cream, that's relevant, and put fresh strawberries in it. So not only did she make a strawberry shake, it was kind of a double strawberry shake, but including the fresh berries, a little bit of whipped cream on top. And that's a great one because it was refreshing. If you can have a dessert and come away as though, even in make-believe land, which is as though you did something healthy, like if you can get a dessert that, that leaves you feeling refreshing, you have really achieved a lot. She had a very refreshing drink. I came in with a risk and the risk bombed. I took a very nice French vanilla. I took just a little bit of, and we had our choices of milk too. I went with a whole milk. I just threw a Butterfinger in there. It was like I sailed it in. In hindsight, it was like I sailed it in. I blended it up four out of four. I came in, I came in last. My wife came in with a simple one 
which was espresso. And all she did was an espresso ice cream, put a little bit of milk, a little whipped cream on top, sprinkles to try to win the kids over. But my son comes in with the old classic and won it. And cookies and cream ice cream, 2% milk, four Oreos. And I swear to God, that used to be called an Oreo speed wagon when I was growing up. And I swear to God, if there's a better milkshake, you know, maybe if you get me in the summertime and you got like some fresh peaches that only grow for eight weeks a year, but that's the kind of thing you're going to need to beat an Oreo milkshake. And I knew a guy that had a trick, my friend Mike, he would serve you a vanilla milkshake. He wouldn't let you, he wouldn't let you watch him make it because he had a trick. So he would bring it out and you're looking at it going, that's a vanilla milkshake. It's cold, it's ice cream, and it's white. That's a vanilla milkshake. But you would taste it and son of a gun, there was something about it. And it took years. If you wanted one, you had to go to Mike's house and you had to go in the other room. You couldn't come in. The, he wouldn't let you watch it. I mean, he, he knew this secret. Well, all he was doing is it was a vanilla milkshake, yes, but he was taking marshmallow. And not like the marshmallows that you put on a stick and roast whipped marshmallow you pull it out and you like you could put it on a sandwich or something along these lines that's what he was putting in so that's what the different taste was but it blended in with the whiteness of the ice cream and therefore nobody knew he was making you a marshmallow milkshake also coincidentally i have a place in my hometown called mike's drive-in that won milkshake of the year but you won't believe what the combination was it was a chocolate milkshake with are you ready to be disgusted when it won the award for milkshake of the year chocolate ice cream with cayenne pepper this place is right by me i didn't even try it and they won awards and i go there all the time I'm like, i am not getting that's just i'm not doing it but i know that there are tricks for milkshakes so if i have another competition i would rather not come in fourth out of four particularly when there's a three and a five-year-old i should be able to beat somebody if you have a secret pass it my way